Hello everyone, True Zero Emissions here. So we're charging up, I'm charging up the Storm Limited right now with the, with this fast charger, right? It's called a fast charger. How many amps is that charging? 6 amps. Or let's see, let's look at this here. Wait, no, no. Output, output, 95 volts, 95.45 at 4 amps, okay? So we're charging at 4 amps. I'm charging at 4 amps. Now this video is going to, I'm going to talk about why I like the Roger charger so much. So this charger is specifically for this scooter. It's a, it's exactly a, a very, it's a set voltage and a set current, which is amperage, right? Those are both preset. It comes this way and you just plug it in, right? Plug it in right here. Okay. And I could run two of them. I could plug another one in here. Now what I did, uh, Oh, I apologize. I should have done this before I started the video. I have a plug I made. Let me see if I can find the plug. Uh, there's a plug that I made. I have to find it. Here it is. Look at this beautiful plug that I made. This plug allows me to connect into both of these at the same time. I'll show you. I'm going to unplug the, the 4 amp charger, which is called the fast charger, and I'm going to plug both of these in. Watch this. I think it goes this way. That's locked in. That's locked in. And now this, I'm going to change this to a... Uh, I started using the next size up. So this one is a, I don't know if it says it on here. It might be like an XT60 and I'm using XT90s now. That's the plug I like to use on everything. <clears throat> this will go into a Roger charger. Now this is the Dualtron Storm Limited, right? So it's a 95 or nine, it's the charger says 94 volts. Now, Here's my notes. Let's look at my notes here. Dualtron Storm Limited. This is regarding the battery, okay? Now this is, a, I'm gonna call this a thought experiment, but this is my research and study indicate this, okay? Each cell is 4.2 volts. Minimum voltage is 2.8 volts. 24 cells in series equals 84 volts. 45 amp hours, 5,000 milliamp hour cells. 45 divided by five equals nine cells in parallel. 24, times 9 equals 216 cells. LGM50 LT 21700 5000 milliamp hour cells. BMS is at least 56 amps input safe. So it can take that much, but how much can the cells take, right? That's the idea. Cell data. This is from a Google search. Note, 3.4 amps each cell. So I'm, I'm approximating that each cell can handle 3.4 volts. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> 3.4 amps. Please research this for yourself to confirm everything. This is just my, uh, my research and study indicate this, but I'm not saying it's correct, okay? This is just, we'll call this a thought experiment, a work in progress. So if each, each uh, cell can handle 3.4 amps, then we have 3.4 times 9 in parallel, right? I think I'm calculating this correctly, but if, if I'm doing doing if I'm calculating it wrong, please make a video and, and post it. Post the correction of this. Just say Dualtron Storm uh, cells. Dualtron Storm Limited battery or something like that. So 30.6 amps charge rate within specification. I called it ludicrous charging. <laughs> so this is an approximation here, but it looks to me like I should be able to charge at 30 amps, 30.6 amps, but I'm only charging at, at four amps, right? <clears throat> I'm only charging at four amps. Very slow charge, even though that's called a fast charger, right? So if I use the Roger charger, which I have three Roger chargers right now, 
Why do I have three Roger chargers? Well, because I charge my electric motorcycle with the Roger charger. Okay, this is a zero. This is a zero electric motorcycle, which I highly recommend. You could buy these used uh, for almost the same price as you can buy a, a scooter. They're about the same price. In fact, I traded a, a Dualtron Storm. Sorry, no, I traded the Dualtron Thunder 2 for this electric motorcycle. And it needed some work, and I think I made the repairs. And I bought a, I bought, you see that frame over there? That's a, that was a parts motorcycle that I bought that had no battery. But going back to the, to the chargers here, <clears throat> this charger is so powerful. Now, Roger sells different chargers. He has what's called a V4. There, I don't know all the names of them, but there's a powerful charger that has a lot of, it, there's different uh, voltage ranges and there's different current ranges. If you need a lot of current and a lot of voltage, you can get that. If you need a lot of current, a lot of amperage and lower voltage, you can get that. If you need a little bit of amperage and a little bit of voltage, you can get that. If you need a lot of voltage and a little bit of amperage, you can get that too. So there's, he has, Roger has all kinds of different chargers and also you can just tell him what you need and can he get it for you and Roger will work with you. He's interested in working with everyone. That's my understanding. So <clears throat> he didn't say that, but he, but I just, what I see Roger doing, it looks like he wants to, he wants to, if you need a charger, he'll do his best to get you a charger, the one that you need, okay? So, so just look up Roger Charger, which is R-O-G, E R C H A R G E R Roger Charger. Just look that up on uh, YouTube and you'll see the chargers. Okay, so if I use a Roger Charger, I have one of these. This one, for example, right here can go to like 35 or 40 amps right there. Okay, so that can easily do 30.6 amps, right? So if that can handle, and this, I'm not telling you to charge your Dualtron Storm Limited at 30 amps. I'm not telling you to do that. But if I'm in a hurry and I need to charge that really fast, and I'm going to charge it at a level 2 electric vehicle charging station. So I'm going to connect. The Roger chargers are auto, auto voltage sensing, which means if you plug it into 240, it'll automatically set to 240 going in. If you plug it into 110 volts, it automatically sets to 110. And it'll put out the correct what you set it to you set this is one of my favorite things about the roger chargers you set the voltage and you set the current you set both of those numbers but when buying the charger or when ordering the charger from roger be sure to let him know what voltage range you need because there's ranges that you can get right like this motorcycle when it's fully charged is 115 volts fully charged so that's the range i need i need you know, I need something that can charge the electric bikes. Well, not really. I mean, that electric bike, as you can see, I marked it. It's 54.6 volts. That's kind of a low voltage for, uh, but they, that has its own charger. See the charger right there? That has its own charger. But if I want to charge it faster, you know, I would need a charger that can go to that voltage. Well, the older Roger chargers could do that. The older ones, the first ones he made, and if you need one of those, you can ask if that voltage range is still available, if you're willing to wait, you know, if he orders one for you. That went from 5 volts up to 146 volts. Isn't that wonderful? That's a good range. And the output is 15 amps. But I think it would go up to like 20 amps or 25 amps. But we don't want to push them too hard. Whatever they're set for, we want to go a little bit below that. We don't want to overheat them. Always watch the temperature of your chargers. I don't like getting the chargers too hot. So I always run them a little bit below their, their limits. So um, so the re part of the reason I recommend the Roger Charger, aside from the fact that Roger's a really great person, and he, if you want to connect with Roger, you connect with him on the Telegram app. And when you look up Roger Charger on YouTube, you're going to see a link in videos. You'll see a link under in the description that sends you to the, the app that you need. To, you, it's a free app. Telegram has, is a free app, and then you join the group, and last I looked, I think there was over 1,600 members, and that's all for questions related to the chargers. It's a Roger Charger group. A lot of people ride electric unicycles, and there's also people that get chargers for their electric mo bicycles, electric motorcycles, 
electric scooters, everything electric. These chargers can be used for anything and everything. That's, that's me saying that because that's, that's my understanding. Look, I'm using them to charge this electric motorcycle. I could run four of those on this. Now, how, where am I getting all the power from, right? Well, I, Roger sells his own adapters and I will be getting some one day. Right now, I, I had purchased this one when I, a while back. This connects into a J1772. It's an electric vehicle charging station, right? So this is 240 volts. This is going 240 in. Now this has this is not just an adapter that adapts this to this uh, 5-15 plug. It also has circuitry in it. There's a light here. See this here? This is an LED light that turns on when there's power going to this. And that lets you know the plug's working. So sometimes when the plug's not working, this light won't come on. That tells me that that charger's not working and it needs maintenance. And anyone that's using a that plugs into a, a charging station that's not working, I recommend calling the phone number on it and letting them know it doesn't work so they can fix that right away. Otherwise, they don't know they're not working. So when you're using an electric vehicle charging station, level two, then uh, we can power up the Roger charger. The Roger chargers love 240 volts. They'll work on 100 and, 110 volts, 120 volts, but they also work on 220 and 240 volts as well, and they auto switch between the two. You don't have to turn a switch on it. You know some chargers have a little switch. You have to switch between 110 and 220. These chargers do it automatically. So, um, and then your output, you have more power. You have access to more power when you are using an electric vehicle charging station. For example, if I'm plugged into an electric vehicle charging station, I can use something like this. I'm not recommending this. You need to get the proper one. Roger sells really the plugs that he sells all this together where it's all connected together. And it, it's not these, it's, it's actually really thick wires that are made to, you know, you plug in this side to the charger, the J1772 level two charging station. And then on the other side has cords coming out, like three cords or so coming out out of here. Like, like one, two, three coming out. And then you plug in your, um, you would plug in your chargers. So for me, I would be plugging in, you know, like I have three chargers right now. I could plug in all three chargers, set them all for 115 volts, and then set the current for whatever the charger can handle. This motorcycle can, can handle an enormous amount of power. Um, I think I've charged it with like, I've done, I've plugged in at the same time as plugging in four, I had four Roger chargers connected to it once. I have three here, but I had one, at one time I had four of them, four Roger chargers, and I had them all connected at the same time, all pushing the maximum power they could push out. And I had the onboard charger connected, which connects right here. It looks like a computer connection, a computer type connection, uh, pet cord, but, but thicker, just a thicker uh, connection. Looks, here it is right here. See this? Looks just like going into your computer power supply, right? But the see, look how thick the cord is. Look at that. So, and that cord does get warm. It gets warm particularly like right around this, this area right here. Now that plugs into here, and then I have a 1300 watt, 1300 watts onboard charger, which can handle 110 or 220, if I recall correctly. Uh, let me think about that again. Yeah, because I've plugged in this which is 240, right? When it's connected to a J1772 level two charging station. And I've connected that directly to here. Okay, so that's 240 coming out. That's why it says 240 right here. It says it right there on the back. It's letting people know this is 240 coming out. And then that's AC, right? And that goes into the onboard charger underneath the motorcycle. And then that charges the battery as well. And then <clears throat> what I do is I made this plug and I didn't have the right uh, wire. So I just doubled each one. I have two of each wire here. And what I do, see here's the plug I, I told you I switched over to the XT90 it's called, which I, if I recall correctly means it can handle 90 amps. Uh, continuous if I recall correctly, but confirm that for yourself. So you see this plug? That plug <clears throat> goes into the plug on the motorcycle and it's the same plug all you it, it's the same plug actually i had the, i had an extra wiring harness from my parts motorcycle from my the same motorcycle 2016 zero sr 
and I just cut this off the other wiring harness. So it's the same plug, but it plugs into itself. It's able to do that. By just turning it over, you just turn it over. So it's the same plug, right? So that what you're looking at there, right, is this. You're looking at that, okay? Same exact plug. Okay, it is the same plug. You turn it over, right? You turn it over like this, upside down, and then, watch this, plugs in. That's plugged in now. Now this is, if I recall correctly, this is not, uh, can, not hot right now. There's no power going to it. To get power going to this, there's two ways to do it. One is turn the key on and then leave the key on while charging. The other way is leave the key off or on, it doesn't matter, but let's say we'll leave it off and then hook up this onboard charger. That opens this up too. As soon as the charger starts charging, this becomes hot, I'll call it hot. This becomes uh, live, I'll call it live. And then I can use the Roger, char the Roger chargers to charge up uh, to charge this and I can run four Roger chargers into here, but how much power can this cord take? That's the question that plug I think can take like uh, Like 110 amps if I recall correctly, please confirm that for yourself um, But I don't think these wires can handle that much. I don't know, but I did have a lot of power going into this I charged this motorcycle in one hour with four chargers now those chargers are small enough to fit right here and right here so I could put two on each side. But I found that just running like one or two of these at full power, like a, this is a 30 amp charger, right? So running that and the onboard charger charges this pretty fast, like in less than two hours, which is quite good. And um, anyway, so I, this video is kind of like talking about how great the Roger chargers are and how I use the Roger chargers. I can use them to, I do use them to charge my motorcycle and I also can use it to charge my scooter. And it will allow me to charge the scooter at, a, as you can see, a very fast rate compared to the 4 amp fast charging. I can go, let's say I go 20 amps. 20 amps is a lot less than 30, which is, I think, what I calculated the limit to be. Now, if you ask anyone that sells these scooters, I don't think anyone's going to tell you to charge at those real high powers. But what I would do myself is make sure that... I would take this cover off and make sure all the wires inside are not getting warm or hot, make sure everything stays cool. If anything's getting hot in there at all, I would not I would stop charging immediately. But if everything's staying cool or cold and I'm charging at 20 amps or even 30 amps and nothing's getting hot, if nothing's getting hot at all, no no wires inside or nothing, then to me that's an indication that we're still in a safe a safe uh area. I see no reason at this time right now to be fast charging it like that. I'm just going to use the, the four, I'm just going to use the four amp charger. That's my plans. But I just wanted you to know what the, wanted you to know about the Roger chargers and to know what they can do. And just sharing with you how I calculated what the limits are of what this battery seems to be able to do based on my research and study, which is uh, a work in progress. It's not all inclusive. I mean, it's not, um, it's not final. It's not a final, the final word on anything. It's just, uh, it's a process. Okay, and I'm just sharing that process with you. <clears throat> okay, everyone, True Zero Emissions signing off. Just wanted to share that with you. Um, let's get this going again. Let's see. That's the switch. We'll get this turned on. So if we use two of these, We would be at 8 amps with two of those, right? That would be 8 amps. But look how big that charger is, right? Two of those, 8 amps, or one of these that can go up to 30 amps, or 16 amps, which would be like four of those, right? And my research and study indicate I could charge that at 16 amps. In fact, I have heard of many people charging the Dualtron Storms at 16 amps and not having any problems at all. But if you prefer to charge slower, 
uh, do what's comfortable to you, okay? I always have charged fast, and I was taught that charging fast is, is, uh, I've been told that it's actually better for the battery to charge faster. Even though I, I've seen the videos on crystallization and all that stuff, I understand that. But I've talked to engineers that make battery chargers, and everybody has their own theories of how things work. And there's also different ways that battery chargers work. So I would say study G batteries. I recommend everyone study everything on G batteries website. G batteries website used to have, um, they were charging electric vehicles in five minutes with less battery damage compared to slow charging. That's an example of what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, I would say when you study something, study it from the, as many points of view as you possibly can. Never take one viewpoint as the final word. Just never stop your research. Always keep studying. Always keep asking questions. This is just how I was taught. Okay, I'm sharing with you my process. Okay, everyone, True Zero Emission signing off. And I'm going to mention this in every video I make. But I do have a Lynx coming in about four weeks. I ordered a Lynx. L-Y-N-X. Uh, I think that's how you spell it. It's the Lynx electric unicycle. I ordered it from... Um, I forgot to mention before where I ordered it from. I ordered it from... Uh, Next Gen Mobility, which is, I have a sticker here, and I'll show it to you. This is Next Gen Mobility, nextgenmobility.org, and you can get a great price there, and I do recommend Next Gen Mobility, and get, uh, order your unicycle there. If you want to get a Lynx, go for it. People are loving that unicycle, the electric unicycle. They're very happy with it, and I fully support any company that takes the limit and just goes way past it, way past the limit, because there are no limits. I mean, there's limits, but it's more like a reference point of what we know. How do we go beyond what we know? How do we go into new territory, right? How do we make something better than we can imagine it to be? How do we keep doing that? Okay, that's what I'm interested in. And I see that happening with the Lynx. It's, it's just, it's gone so far. And they're, they've done a great job. So I highly recommend the links. I did a lot of research before I ordered that unicycle. I talked to a lot of people. I didn't, you know, everyone knows that that's familiar with this channel knows I do a lot of research. My research concluded with me ordering the links. Okay. So if you want to get the same price that I got, which was an outstanding price, go to Next Gen Mobility. I just showed you the, the car. I'll show it to you again. Go to Next Gen Mobility right here nextgenmobility.org and order your electric unicycle there. There's many different models you can order. And when you order there, you save money, but you have to wait for it to be shipped here, which can take uh, approximately four weeks. It might be a little more than that. So just ask. Now, if you want your uni electric unicycle right away, uh, the, the place I know of that comes highly recommended by many, many people there's many places to buy from that are great, but just at the moment, because I don't have everything memorized, and this is the one that comes to mind right now, and it's the one I out. It's the one I was going to buy from if I wanted my electric unicycle right away. So if I was willing to pay a little more, a little more or a lot more, it's that's subjective, right? If I was willing to pay more, the the difference of what it costs to buy one that takes time to come here, right, where it ships in four weeks approximately, or it gets here in four weeks, versus get it, getting it shipped right away, like next day or something, and then you get it within a few days, right? Uh, E-wheels. E-wheels, okay? Uh, Roger always has this E-wheel stamp on his videos when you watch Roger EUC. If you watch Roger's videos, you'll see the E-wheels, uh, I think it's called a watermark, on, on his videos in the corner. E-wheels comes highly recommended by many people so if you want your electric unicycle right away or very very fast that i would say make sure you check out e-wheels that doesn't mean you have to buy from them you can buy from whoever you want to just check out e-wheels check out next gen mobility and share the word with people okay spread the word and welcome to the electric unicycle community or i'll say welcome to micro mobility because <laughs> there's many ways to travel right okay everyone true zero emission signing off we'll see you next time in the next video okay bye